Yeah, welcome back. My name is Rob Satchel again. Um, this is uh, Tower Prom Part 2 because we ran out of time. Uh, I wanted to give you guys more than 15 minutes in here because it literally is a maze of good stuff. Uh, this is the rear of it. Uh, obviously, we're going to go in the maintenance uh, entrance. Um, and so, yeah, let's go back into the maze. <clears throat> Would you believe it? A mass of tourists. <laughs> Right over there is where we started the last, or well, ended off the last video, over there. So we're just going to go round to uh, over here. <laughs> Into this one. Obviously there is no right or wrong way around here, there's just your way. <laughs> No need for build base here, they've got it all stacked out at the front here. <laughs> already gone just back in, I'm already lost. It's great, fantastic. Look at that. <laughs> Heads. Yeah. We've definitely been there. Right, this may have been the one. This may be the one that uh, was in the movie. I'm pretty sure of it. I'm just get through the uh, tourists here. Sadly, they blocked it off because of uh, unstable brickwork and stuff, but you can see uh, all the fantastic carvings here that are still very, very well kept amongst the rubble. <laughs> supports and stuff. Watch that show go through the active. No, that was so good. an 
unwillingness to uh, um, exit now, obviously. We're loving this maze. <laughs> as well call it almost feels like you're below ground in certain parts Yeah, look at that bad boy. That is all tree root. It looks like a massive python or something, doesn't it? Absolutely fat. to stabilize the tree they have to cut sections of it off periodically because of the whole weight of it and uh, you can see why some of the actual stones are starting to come out already <coughs> even with the supports underneath there going down here now a slightly better view than we got earlier on. Even though it's got all the scaffold and stuff around it, it's still the actual structure is in pretty good nick still. Um, Yes, we have been here before. <laughs>
like you can see all this all this rubble here that is and the, the end there right there where the supports are has actually uh, um, a corridor all the way along here that's uh, yet to be rebuilt doesn't look like they're going to do it anytime soon but um, by what they've done so far on this site I wouldn't be surprised that if they actually rebuilt it in totally obviously with a you know fabricated new uh, piece of masonry here and there like but um, I think they've pretty much worked wonders on this site The size of some of these trees is amazing as well. There's <laughs> that bird again. Ooh. Always gonna let a little bit of rain in, eh? Right. <laughs> right, this site basically, if you're wondering, uh, instead of a lot of the sites where you go in one end and come out the other, uh, it's in one end and out the same end. Um, you can just imagine, you know, if. Uh, uh, the entire human populace of the planet just evaporated overnight or something uh, that this would be our main cities in you know a hundred two hundred years sort of time it really would you know just the trees and the, the forests and everything would just uh, claim uh, what we uh, call civilization back like you know yeah nature's pretty powerful that's why you should always respect it none more than the uh Yeah, none, none more than water, obviously, uh, in its many forms. All can be uh, extremely powerful and uh, devastating. But, uh, well. Right, I'm just going to walk us out. Uh, the exit just to see what it's like. Uh, <laughs> again, we're going to use the uh, maintenance exit, the one on the left, the small one, uh, and avoid the crowds, hopefully. Um, uh, and then I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. Uh, I possibly will do one more video in Cambodia before I leave tomorrow. I've booked my ticket and all that to uh, straight to Bangkok tomorrow, hopefully within nine hours, but we'll see, we know the bus service is here. Um, definitely, uh, hang on a sec, okay, yeah, we'll, I'll talk about buses and other stuff later on, and connections and pre-planning and stuff. Um, <clears throat> right, that is it. Definitely is it for me, Rob Satchel, in the Angkor what? No, the Angkor Temple Complex in Cambodia. I will possibly see you guys next in India, but if not, it'll be uh, just for a quick uh, rundown of uh, uh, kit to put in your pack before you leave. Okay, doke. Bye for now.